Welcome everyone, this is Pine Leaf Needles, and today we are beginning a new series, Pine Leaf of the Sacred Fist, where we are going to be running the Temple of Elemental Evil with a Sacred Fist Paladin. Oh, hold on. So you may be wondering, if I am running the Temple of Elemental Evil with the Sacred Fist Paladin, then what am I doing here on the Isle of Dread? And why am I in combat? I have no idea on this. Hey, you guys know why I'm in combat? Right. But I am running the Isle of Dread because I took the option to start at level 7. That way I will be able to be at a good level for the Temple of of Elemental Evil. It's not quite enough though. That's the old level for the Temple of Elemental Evil. They raise it up to level 8 and since I am not familiar with the Sacred Fist Paladin all that much, yes I have run a Paladin in the past and yes this is in many ways similar to a Monk which is the class that I was playing with the Tabaxi But that is certainly not going to be the same as actually being familiar with this particular class. And starting at level 7 might not have been my best idea in how to be able to get nice levels of experience in playing, the, in playing this particular variant. Now I should say what am I talking about variant of paladin all that stuff is that because this update includes not only the updates for the temple of elemental evil but it also includes me going in the wrong direction I'm supposed to be going north not south <sighs> but this also includes the new archetypes that they're adding in DDO. It's actually the first three archetypes. They'll be having additional archetypes added at later times. I guess they just want to see how these are going. I suspect that they're going to have many more to come. See how much people like them. That may dictate on which ones they bring about. I just, oh, now you arrive! But right now, there are three of them. One of them is a cleric with a little bit of an evil edge. Another one is a bard that deals with lightning. And actually, I would like to play that bard. I probably will do that after we do the temple. And see how I could take that bard through the early levels. And then the third one is the Paladin of the Sacred Fist, who is a Paladin that fights with hand wraps. Now, since I started level 7, I did not have an opportunity to get a proper piece of armor because the armor that they give you for being a Paladin that skips to level 7 is heavy armor, which. I can't wear on this character because I am a light, well, a, a no armor paladin, one because I use my fist and all this stuff. So I have many of the limitations of using weaponry as you would have with a with a monk. Except I don't have those skills that I was all nice and used to using with the monk. There we go. Now. Let us along, head along our way, and see how many Protoceratops we could kill along the way. Now, I would like to get some rewards on all this. I have a feeling, though, that when I get to my quest rewards, that they're not going to have monk-type items for me, which means no outfits or anything like this. I did do one quest, the one where you go against that crab. It's a... It's a rather annoying quest, so I have not done that one on screen. I did that one off screen. And we're going to go into this quest up here instead. Say, hostile one. Say, well, I, I think that's the question. Usually, the 
Triceratops don't attack you, but these things. This is they call this uh Daiko Well Yeah. Stracosaurus, those things are quite ornery, so to speak. So we'll see what they do. And I don't have too many options what I could do other than base attacks. So for a uh, Sentinelosaurus or a Carnosaur. It, it's a Carnosaur. Alright. Uh, let, let's deal with the Carnosaur. Actually, no, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure the Carnosaur is just an animal that isn't actively evil. Even though it does wish to eat me for lunch. Alright, remember, go north! I keep on getting diverted. I have finally arrived at Pirate's Point, so let's see how we could plunder or unplunder it or whatever. Ahead is the Pirate's Camp. I spotted Doran. He was put to work on the beach we created in the Pirate's Outer Wall. Alright, we'll see what that means. So find Doran of the Hawk. A group of pirates surrounds a man matching the description of Doran of the Hawk. When Doran looks up from his forced labor, noticing you approach, his face glows with hope. The last of the pirates holding Doran captive have been defeated. Doran waves for you to come speak with him. Newcomers, your arrival is unexpected, but appreciated nonetheless. After we lost several scouts trying to swim to the pirate's camp, we tried to force our way through. But this place is far more protected than we anticipated. It's a fortress. There's much to be done before we can gain access to the monolith. All right, I'll help on that. Uh, what's on the to-do list? You need to break through the main gate and then make your way to the commander's hut. She's got the dread monolith in the broken body stashed somewhere in there. After we broke through the wall, the pirates raised an alarm. Then their main force came outside the gate to confront us. If you can handle it, perhaps you try the same thing yourself. Ring the gong, raise the alarm, and the pirates will come to you. And while you're in there, if you could free any of the other prisoners, we would be eternally grateful. All right, fine. Raise the alarm, then break into the commander's, oh, Commodore's house. Easy! Doran says that to get inside the pirate camp, you'll need to sound the camp's alarm, then fight your way past the guards. Once inside, you'll need to find the Commodore's hut, where the monolith is kept. He also said that many islanders have been captured by the pirates, and asked you to free them. Ooh, breakables. How oh, nice. Oops. Where are you at? Oh. They got, apparently they have a skeleton crew here. Well, I do have the option to turn undead if need be. Oh, prisoners. Alright, so I got five more prisoners to free. There you go. Oh, and more things to break. Why I'm doing this, I don't know, but alright. Well. Actually, I. I don't have the patience to keep track of potions, so I'll just uh, drink the thing. Not my usual strategy. I, my usual strategy is to leave them forever inside my inventory until I decide I need to make room for them. So let's try a new strategy. Hello, you're free, you're free, and you're free. You get your freedom, you get your freedom, everyone gets their freedom. Alright, let's see, this is... Okay, that's the gong before the Commodore's hut. So let's release the prisoners first, then we can... 
Is, is that some sort of a golem or something like that? Statue? Go oh. Hey. Alright, good. That way I am less likely to get killed. Our turn. Okay, turn undead. I guess that's. Oh, that's a. Uh, this totem radiates malevolent energy. Destroying all of these will remove the evil enchantment from the waters of this cove. Smash the totem, UMD or spellcraft. Smash it. Oh. Really? Ha! <laughs> that wasn't so tough. Oh, that's right. I think that I have a... Actually, I guess I should show you what my abilities here are. For Oh, yeah, my enhancements. That's what I wanted to show. On my enhancement tree, I've taken pretty much all Sacred Fist stuff, except for the ones that aren't allowed on that tree. And so I'm adding all sorts of things to my attack and damage, which is useful, seeing how... I don't have much else I can do than my basic attacks. Let's see, I can deflect arrows, light a hope, plus two the sacred flame. Oh, plus one the sacred flame dice. Your sacred flame toggle now allows you to strike incorporeal enemies as if you had ghost touch. And I do have the sacred flame. That's the bond of the protector. What sacred flame toggle? Hmm. Well, I think I really should find out where that toggle is. Yes, I missed the sacred flame toggle. A little detail. See, I remembered something about ghost touch, but forgot how I got it. Now, what do I have left? I need to find two more. Oh, the last two prisoners might be with the Commodore. I didn't think about that. So, let us then ring the gong. And find out what's inside. Yoo-hoo! The gong rings out. The massive gate nearby pushes open as guards rush out of it. Really? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, just, just go after me while you're in the middle of a turn point. I, I don't like the ray of people, man. I really don't like the rave of people. Alright, here we go. Your turn. Oh. Oh, you're all gone? With the gate guards defeated, the inner compound is yours to explore. Time to find the Commodore's hut. See, there's a ship there. A couple. Of, oh, we got another one of those totems up there. Oh, a prisoner. All right, good. Is there another prisoner around here? Yeah. Oh, there are more totems. There we go. There's actually a list of how many totems are left to destroy. I did not notice that before. Oh, here's the last prisoner. How am I doing on that? Hmm. I guess it's the appropriate place to put a rest shrine. Yeah, I do a few more things, but before the boss fight, I really should go and take care of. Oh, then your turn. And do and do some resting just before the boss fight, if I remember, of course. Let, let's make sure we get extra XP on this, because the earlier we get the XP, the earlier we get to level 8. And the earlier we get to level 8, the more likely I will be able to... I took strength damage. Alright, well, I'll just have to... 
your turn. Now, I think we have a restoration spell somewhere around here. In fact, I think I've got the restoration spell. Do I have a restoration spell? Yeah. There we go. Nice. That's nice to have. All right, good. Now, we've got everything done. Oh, I have one more cursed totem to deal with. Now, is there one on the ship? The ship is in port to be resupplied. It would be a shame if something were to prevent the pirates from completing their work. Yeah, it would be quite a shame. Oh. You again. More skellies. Uh, oh, oh. Hi. The ship's quartermaster stares shocked for a moment, then runs to the gong on deck and rings it. Reinforcements spring forth to attack. Of course. You you attack. You attack. Everyone attacks. Right. Thank you for the heal. <sighs> All right. No evil totems here. Well. At least I completed. Uh, if I completed an objective here, is there a optional chest? Nope. Oh, there is an optional to release more prisoners. So that means finding more prisoners, I guess. Anything in here? Nope. All right. Next. I have rested, so it's time to look at this end of the boss area. Hi! Oops. Thanks you for giving me time to get up here. Oh, they have a seal of Physis here. Oh. You're, oh, you're still alive? Sorry I didn't finish the job. There you go. Now... Where are we? We've got... A single pirate stands inside the taming pen, surrounded by dinosaurs cowering in fear. When he spots you, he shouts a command. The dinosaurs jump to obey. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Okay, here you go. And... What is that? Probably a dromaeosaur of some sort? Oh. Oh. A pirate. <laughs> yeah. Polycanthus? You're just knocking it over a little bit, piece by piece. And your turn. Stop moving, you idiot. Tamer Zahn expires with a whimper. These pirates won't be taking advantage of any more trained dinosaurs from now on. Oh! That must be an optional then, because it's a chest. Alright, we got nimble boots of feather falling. Feather falling! Good! Because I was just afraid that at some point that I would be jumping off things lightly, like they do with the tabaxi <laughs> but there we go now anything in here nope so we took care of the optional now let's go and find that Commodore I wonder what's the best way to handle a group of people who are putting down bear traps just Fight them away from the bear traps? Really? Let's just go around them. As you approach the Commodore's hut, a pirate with a commanding presence appears. When she spots you, she quickly locks the door behind her and commands her guards to attack.
all these pirates here. Oh boy. Time when I think I really wished I had. You've defeated Captain Kira and her guards. And again. You retrieved the key and unlocked the door she guarded. The way into the Commodore's quarters is clear. Let's see. Now, there's another cursed totem somewhere. I haven't seen that yet. Now, let's take care of the Commodore. That is the priority, I think. Aha, uh -huh, here we are. The Commodore has stashed the monolith that you are here to find somewhere inside this place. Well, then, we'll have to deal with a few people first. You're down. You're down. Ah. Oh, a room for resting. Is this where the rest of the island, the captives are? All right. I have to keep that in my. Oh. After pulling the lever behind the bar, a door nearby grinds open. So I want to assume that leads us to the Commodore at some point. And what door opened? Oh, that door is also a little bit of hidden on top of being controlled and locked. Oh, hi. Dinosaur bones. All right. Ah, this way, I guess. This way. This way. Bear traps. Hmm. Oh, lots of traps. Should slow them down a little bit. And your turn. Alright, let's bring my friends back in. Commodore Elena snarls as you enter the cave. You won't lay a hand on the money or a single coin of my treasure. Prepare to join my crew. As a walking corpse. Commodore clicks her tongue in frustration before calling for her tamed beasts. Oh, right. <laughs> this is all you got? What else? Even more visibly frustrated, Commodore Elena draws her blade, summoning forth undead to assist her in battle. Right. I think that's one area where I can do well against the undead. Oh, you decided to... The Commodore collapses, defeated. The magical barrier blocking the access to her treasury fades as well. The monolith lies within. And they put a shrine right here. Why do we need a shrine here when we're already done? You've attuned to the monolith. You are one step closer to bypassing the curses protecting the Forbidden Temple. One step closer to leaving the Isle of Dread. Well then, let's get all of this gold up here. Good. And... Treasure. What's in here? Ooh. Commodore Alana's Cutlass. Ooh, that sounds like it'd be a nice piece if I were allowed to use such weapons. Ricocheting bracers of fortification. Well, I'll just have to look over that and see what could be useful in there. I was hoping there would be a monk's outfit of some sort, but not so much luck. Ah. <sighs> I think there's a great deal of room for improvement, but I did manage to get to the dungeon without getting myself killed. 
How will I do, and when will I be ready to head into the Temple of Elemental Evil? Perhaps we will find that out in an upcoming episode of Pineleaf of the Sacred Fist.